Hello there and good afternoon. I'm Nikki Wybrow and I am taking over Fit and Wells here on Instagram. How exciting! For the moment, before we start anything, I'm just going to turn off the comments because I know a lot of people just go, oh, you know, I can't see the workout. So should we just um, turn the comments off, should we? Should we try and do that? Oh, yes. How is everybody? Also, let's have a little look if I can turn off the comments. Okay. I am Nikki Wybrow, and like I said, I am taking over Fit and Well here on the Instagram. And um, let me have a look. I can't turn off the comments. I'll try and do that. I'll try and do that for you. Don't you worry. Harry's everyone. There, I've done it. Yes, turning off the comments. Hello. We've got a total body workout for you. Coming live outside, beautiful weather here in the UK. All you need is your trainers, a little bit of water. I've got my mat here and we are ready to go. Half an hour, that's all I'm gonna ask of you. I am a fitness coach. I have been for over 35 years. I specialize in at-home workouts and specifically for people over the age of 40 because I'm over the age of 50. But everybody is welcome, shall we go? Without further ado, make sure you've got a little bit of water. Check the exercises are right for you as well, please. I'm gonna give you lots of variations as we go along. We are ready to go, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Are we ready to go? We're gonna take our feet just slightly apart Nice, easy warm-up. So you're going to bend your knees, a little tuck of your pelvis underneath you. You're going to extend and just take a little stretch over. Now, you don't want to go too far, too quickly, particularly when we're stretching. So if everything just feels a little bit achy today, take it nice and easy. So we're going to take four, three, two, and then we're going to take a nice big roll down. So roll down and then roll your spine back up. Other way. So we're going to lean over. And then nice big roll down. Now this roll down enables us just to loosen off any little pockets of tension around the spine. So particularly nice if you've been sat down all day. Time for a bit of exercise. One, two, three, and then roll down. Nice big deep breaths also. We're gonna stay here, right arm's gonna stretch. We're gonna bend our knees. Lean over to your diagonal, roll yourself back up. Take a little wiggle here. Left arm stretches. Bend your knees as you stretch to your diagonal. Roll as you lift yourself up. Little wiggle here. So we're gonna bring the hands together, stretch them up into cactus, and then we're gonna sweep the arms down. Should we do that together? Cactus, up, and sweep. Cactus, up, and sweep. Couple more. So we're now starting to get the energy starting to move around a little bit, and little sweep. Last time, down, lift up and sweep. Now from here, just take a little circle, a little swing out through your arms. Make sure everything's kind of ready to go. We'll take, take a little adjustment there if you need to, if you work out gear. A little tap from side to side. Nice, big, deep breaths for me. Don't worry if you can't do everything, it's absolutely fine. We're just here working out together, do as much as you can, okay? Now what I want you to do instead is turn your foot slightly in. So can you see you're turning your hip? Another eight, seven, six, a little tiny turn from that hip, four. You're gonna add a little squat, turn, squat, turn. Now remember, conserve your energy a little bit. We've got half an hour, so not too deep in those squats right now. And again, we're gonna just free up the body a little bit. We're now gonna lean in, tap and just throw the arm away. So can you see I slightly turn my body the opposite way? That's it. Little tap, four. We're still warming up. Two more. Last one. Now turn to your right, extend your leg back. Little tiny pulses here, making sure the hips are okay. We've got outside sounds and music and inside sounds and music. Four, three, two. Now extend fully. Stretch the arm up, take a nice big deep breath. Open through the hip flexors, release, come back to center. Little tap. So again, we wanna try and keep the body moving rather than too static with our stretches. You've got four. Are you all still with me? Two more, and then last one. 
So we're going to do the same. We're going to take a little squat and twist and twist. So we want to start just to get some movement into those hips for later on. Two more. Last one. And then just free up the body. So we're now turning the opposite way. So almost on the inside of the knee edge. For four, three, two. We're going to turn the opposite way. A little pulse down of the knee. And we've got that tiny little scoop under so we can feel some intention down that hip and down that thigh. Then extend your leg a little further back. Take a nice big deep lift up. Why do hip flexors always feel so tight, don't they? Around this area. Bring yourself to the front. Roll down and up. Now all we're doing is making sure the knees move outwards. And again, just loosening off any little tension around the hips and the lower back, because I think we're nearly ready to go. Shall we go? Let's take a tap. So what we did in our warm up, we're gonna use right here. Do you remember it? So you've got a little squat, turn of the hip. Now you want to think about your position through your upper body. We already wanna pull in through our core. So I want you to imagine the tightest pair of trousers you've ever had. Do up the zip of that trouser and hold that core in nice and tight. Okay, two more. Last one. Let's free up the legs. So now you can add a little bit more energy. If you want to, you can pick up or you can be here. So just see what your body feels like, what you feel doing this kind of sunny-ish Wednesday in the UK. Four more. Three. And we go squat. Now all we're going to do is speed this up a little bit. Are you ready? So we're gonna go squat. Now here's where we need this core. So rather than here, chest up, up, eight, seven. That's it, nice big turn of that hip. Three, two, and then we throw away. Whew. Couple of deep breaths here. Needed already, make sure you can get some water. Little sips, not big gulp, see our little sips. Don't want it swirling around in the tummy, not very nice. Holding here now. I want you to come down really low. This is called a bob and weave. You're kind of going like this, half circle with the body, nice and low. Let me show you from the side. Here's where I want you. <laughs> Let's get into the bottom, into the thighs, while keeping that heart rate up, burning calories, which is what we want, shaping the body, which is what we want. <laughs> Last four to go. Four, three, two. Now keep your legs on the ground and we're gonna go into side lunge. Now when you're doing a side lunge, sit your weight backwards, keep your chest up so we're not slouching. Again, do you remember those trousers? Pull upwards, pull inwards. Got another eight, seven. A little bit on inner thigh now. Pesky areas, these. So annoying, particularly as we age. Four. Now what we're gonna do instead is lift up through our toe. So we're getting more emphasis down in the heel, still sitting back, keep breathing. The reason I'm saying this, when something's quite intense, oh, we hold our breath, everything becomes so much more challenging. Four more, last three, last two. Now all we're going to do with our left leg, we're gonna go curtsy, raise the heel, curtsy, raise the heel. Should we try it? Back behind, lift. So again, we want that fluidity to move through the movement that we're doing. If you think, do you know what, Nikki? My knees don't feel so right today. You can do it a little bit smaller. If you think, come on, Nikki, let's do it. You can go further. Adapt any workout to suit you. Go and I did that. <laughs> Four, three, come on, you can do it. Two, good. Again, a little side to side. So catch your breath, yes, your heart rate will be up, which is what I want. What we do on one side, always follow with the opposite side. Keep your chin up for me. Lift, come on, I want you to really push down into your heel now. Activate 
make those inner thighs really curl up your toes. For four, three, two, one. We're going to lift, curtsy. So you can go down as low as your knee will dip it, up to you, and also what you feel you want today from this workout. You can still get as much here. Rather than feeling, do you know what, I should stop this, adapt any exercise. Last four, and last three. I feel this in my thighs already. Two more. And then last one, holding, lift. Can you come down even lower? Four more. Curl them toes up for me. Two. Now we're gonna take a little squat, lift, lift, lift. Now I don't want you to come up to standing, please. Stay down nice and low. Oh, anyone feeling this yet? <laughs> so what we're doing, by raising the toe, more emphasis down in the heel, more emphasis on the inner thigh, going around now into back of the leg and the bottom. Four more. Those areas that move a little south. We need to put them back up again. <laughs> Four more. Squat. Three. Two. And one. Little tap again. Do you remember the very beginning? <laughs> it was like a long time ago, doesn't it? Your squat and that little twist. Now the emphasis is on that twist. Remember you've got the option to take a little tap but still want you to try and think of lifting up for me. Another eight, seven, six and last four. Three, three, throw it away. Now here's the first position, here's the second, Here's the third. What do you feel like doing? <laughs> or maybe go between the two. Let's take four and last three. Oh, calories going here. Good stuff. And just tap. Come down nice and low. Remember that little bob and weave? Are you still breathing for me? Are you still pulling and zipping up? Yeah? Four. And then back to that toe. Up, up, up. Now this time I want you to go down and up, down and up. So that you can screen at the screen. Okay, I feel this. <laughs> Come on, another eight, seven, and last four. Three, I think we need to throw it away, shall we? You might even feel like you want to do this. It's absolutely fine. Whatever feels good. We are nearly finished on our standing section. Woo! And a little tap. A little sip of water if you need it. Last section here to stand. Let's separate our feet. One of my favorites. Plie. Down. Now, plie completely different. Here's a squat. Here's a plie. I want you to imagine You've got a wall behind you, go straight down the wall rather than tilting forward. Again, you use that analogy, keep zipping up. Eight, seven, six, four. Now keep heels and toes down, stop the movement, and a little sway. But again, comfortably, keep an eye on these joints. If it's not for you, you've got that option in the middle, it's always there. Otherwise, a little tap. Now, can you scoop underneath? So squeeze that bottom for me as tightly as you can. Four, three, two. As we did, we're tapping, lifting up the toes, staying in plie. Give your chest sternum lifted. Ooh. Eight, seven, six. We're going to take one little step forward on our right foot. Step, bring it back. Step, bring it back. Step. Now, can you see that I'm actually stepping in my plie? I'm trying to stay down low, but it's really tempting to come up. Come on, last few little bits. And again, hold it. Stay
stay there. Pulse for me. Push those knees. For four, three, two. We're going to lift the left. Hold it. Then bring the left in. Put it back into its place. Hold. Lift the right. Pulse. Push the knees a little further. Come on, keep scooping. Four, three, two. Bringing that foot in. Again, this is where everything is going to burn. <laughs> These are the ones that count, the ones you think, oh, dig down deep, you're doing so good. Stick with it. Four, three, two, and stay. Stay, I know, I know, I know, I know. Four, three, stay with me, stay with me. Lift both heels, arms forward, arms up, arms out to the side, float down, forward. Ah, no, I know. Can you go down a little lower? We're going to throw it away. I think we need to. Oh, how good does that feel just to release that tension in those legs? Making it big, making it small, always your choice. Woo. Very well done, a little tap. We're going to do a little bit of standing work for our abs. Grab yourself a little bit of water. Come and join me again. Remember, this is going to be saved on this IGTV, also on Fit and Well over on their YouTube. So you can go back to it, you can do it twice. With your right foot in front of you, lifting up, cross your thumbs, stretch up for me, and we're going to lift. Now what I want you to feel when you're doing this is an extension. It's very easy to go through the movements here and stop, but we want to activate the core by lifting upwards. Four more. Yeah. Three, two. Now hold the leg, step it back, hold. If you move out and you fall over, it doesn't matter, or even pop the foot down. Bring it back in, take a little shake out of the legs. Step. Yes, I know, I know I said that the thighs were finished. Might have told a little fib. Four, three, two, hold it here. Left foot, so cross your thumbs, pull up as much as you can. Think about your lower ribs. So when we train the core, we want to train it while we're stood, while we're sat, while we are on the floor, anywhere at all. Four, can you lift those arms a little higher? And be really honest with how the body feels. Can you stretch up a little bit more? And then I want you to hold. Step it back, find your balance. Hold, almost like a runner's stance. Four, three, two, and a little tap. But what I want is for you to stay nice and low so we can still feel that intention through our legs. Everyone okay? So I've turned the comments off, I can't see anyone. <laughs> Four, three, two, come over to your right. Right foot in front, we have eight. Eight, chest up, seven. Come on, really crunch. Five, last four, three. If you feel I can't extend the leg, Nikki, you can do the knees, exactly fine. Two more. Now bring that leg behind you, hold it. Can you straighten both legs for me? Hold, arms behind you. Bend that supporting leg. Eight, seven, six, don't worry if you wobble. Four, three, two, one. Place that foot down. Give me a little single leg squat. Oh, pulsing now because these legs are very warm. They're very warm. <laughs> We're going a little further into them. And now just swap over, walk through, walk. But as you're doing this, again, being honest, can I feel this? Am I sitting right back on my heels? Keep your chest up. Lift, lift, four, four, three, two, one. Stay down nice and low. Can you go a little further from side to side? Yeah? Don't worry, you're gonna throw it back in a minute. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're doing it together. Two. Opposite leg. Are we ready? Chest up, lift, seven. So harness all that energy. You can do your knee, 
you can extend, but making sure we feel that lift. Come on, you have another four, three, two, find your balance, step back. Look at a point in front of you. Straighten both the legs if you can. Keep looking down, bend that front knee. Seven, even if you need to put down that back foot, it's absolutely fine. Come on, you can do this. Five, four, make sure that you're lent forward. Three, two, whoa, losing balance. And pop the foot in front, little pulses. So easy to lose balance, it's absolutely fine, don't worry. Fitness is not about perfection. We're just enjoying doing what we can, get what we want out of this. Another eight, seven, six. You are nearly there. This is the last bit, actually. <laughs> Let's creep through. Creep, creep. Now, can you push down in your heel a little bit more? Can you take for eight, seven, six, and four, three, and then stay down for me? Pulse, low as you can, low as you can. Can you see that I'm now taking a little tiny step forward and pulse? These are called burners for the obvious reasons. Oh, I think to yourself, do you know what? Once I've done this, that's it, my legs are done. <laughs> Come on, we can do this together. Two more. And then last one. We are about to throw it back together. Let's do it. Oh, nice freedom in those legs. Come on, can you give me a little bit of energy? We've got another eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Again, grab a little bit of water. I'm gonna join you in that. Thirsty work. Okay. Wherever you are, turn yourself around, mat behind you. Roll down, fingertips, hands, step. Now, if you think immediately, I'm just gonna put my hair back so that you can see. If you think, do you know what, Nikki? Uh -uh. Planks are not for me. Option, knees down on the ground. If you feel, that's okay, I can. Think about how you're doing a plank. Not like this. Neither there, somewhere in between. Hold your plank for me, just to warm you up. Now when we age, this joint gets really, really tight. So make sure you're just turning, adapting the hand to the plank, yeah? So you don't feel that you're in the same position all the time, overstressing the same part of your plank. One of my favorite exercises, actually. We're going down with dog, and we're going forward and into plank. Good, now come right up on your toes, shift your weight, hold and then brace. Back and hold, back and hold. Remember that if you think, mm -mm, not for me, you can even come forward down onto your elbows. Yeah, so there's always an option that you can take if your joints just don't feel quite right today. Let's take another four and back, and last three, and back, two more. So we're gonna add a little bit of a spin on this, not literally. <laughs> Come forward, hold, bring your legs a little closer. Step your left foot, pop it on two, alternate heel. Come back as if you're doing a downward dog. Now we're going to twist over to the right side. Coming back to downward dog, twist over and again so it's a little bit of a bleak work slightly different you don't have to go down too far yes my goodness me you will feel your shoulders and again but remember that analogy we're pulling upwards inwards from our core I am sweating I don't mind saying two more and then last one now if you can stay here downward dog Use your downward dog as a stretch. If you need to, move your hands around a little bit. So again, not in exactly the same place at the same time. Are we ready? Opposite leg. Pop it on top. So we're going to twist and back. 
and we are nearly, nearly finished. Can you believe that already? My goodness. And again, little twist. You've got another four, three. So make sure it's the right side that's going down towards your left. Yeah, two more. Last one. Hold back into your downward dog. Couple of deep breaths. Now, give me a little jump into reverse beetle. Back to your plank. Into your reverse, back. If you think no, you can step it and back. Keep going. Do you remember what I said about thigh burners? These are shoulder burners, core burners. They're really tough. I want to really pull in. You are nearly there. We're nearly done. We've got a couple of minutes and we're done. Four more. Back. Can you brace? Three. And back. Oh, two. And back. Yes, I know my shoulders as well. Now, a little surprise. Come forward. Hold. Little tap behind. Push. Kick out. Can you pull in from your core a little bit more? Come down on your elbows at any time if this joint in the wrist doesn't feel right. Three. Hold. Little pulses. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Relax. My goodness, you have done so well. It's, like it's really intense. I tend to laugh a lot. I don't know why. Okay. Last little bit. Are we ready to burn the core? Oh, yes. Two minutes and we're done. Let's bring the legs up. So we are now in that beetle. We're reversing. We've got our toes just above our knees. We're holding to static. We don't want to round the spine. Pulling down. Watch we're not here. So a lot of time we can lift here, but not actually get that lift where we need it in the core. Hold. Left leg, extend it, point both your toes. Again, watch this back for me. Good. Extend that right leg up, hold. Now, if you can't straighten both legs, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Hold, hold, hold. Bottom leg to the top, down. As low as your ab can go, where you can keep that control. So we're gonna do a little bit different again here, just to give you a different feel to some exercises. Good, we're gonna hold up. Now as that goes down, the other leg's gonna slide down, slide back up, slide down, slide back up. Yeah, they're called sliders. Down the leg. Can you still keep that back down? Come on, you're doing so good. We're nearly done. Yeah, I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> okay, come on, two more. And then last one for me. Now I want you to hold out again in your static. Of course, you've got the option to come down and rest, but this is intense. We're getting as much as we can out of those abs. Holding, holding, holding. Opposite leg, hold. Left leg. So we're gonna take right to left, right to left. Again, we want that leg to go down, but we don't wanna lose that control through that lower body, through the abs. So just go a little bit, like so. Yeah, you don't have to go down too far. Come on, you've got another four. Last three. Again, watch we're not pulling up too high from the head. And then we're gonna hold. We're gonna slide down and then pull back up. Slide and pull back up. Oh, big lift. Yes, I know. Last four. And last three. And last two. One more. And then we're gonna hold. Seesaw, one of my favorites. This is where the burn comes. We're gonna go forward, backwards forward, backwards, seesaw. Can you pull in your abs a little more? If you need the neck to relax, it's absolutely fine, but we are together in it. Keep going, keep going. 20, that's it, then we're done, I promise. Ready, let's do it together. 20, can you extend out a little more? Can you lift up a little more? Can you pull down that belly button? Oh, we're nearly on the home straight. The neck aches, it's fine, it's normal hand around the head. Okay, come on, we've got 10. 10, count them with me, it does help, I don't know why. Eight, uh, seven, pull down, six, five, last four, three, two, surprise, hold. 
We are done. We all look the same when we work out. Make sure that you have lots and lots of water. Come back to this. It's going to be on the IGTV and it's also going to be fit and well over on YouTube. Share it with your friends. Thank you so much. I've really, really enjoyed working out with you. And I hope I'm going to see you on another live workout really soon. It's Nikki Wybrow. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.